Hey guys, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. Pardon my mess, I'm getting um, adjusted. I'm even using a camping chair because I don't have my normal chair yet. So anyway, so why do I feel so exhausted after a therapy session? This is a question that gets asked a lot. A lot of times people after having a therapy session want to go home and take a nap or they just feel totally exhausted and they feel like they can't carry on with the rest of their day. I wanted to address that now. This is a normal experience because our emotions are so connected to our physical bodies, you know, that whole mind-body thing. We are connected, right? We're not just, um, you know, this weird entity that's like I, I'm a house and I have a chair or a couch or a TV inside of me. It's, a, it's, a, it's an experience with, you know, our whole self. Now, the reason why therapy can do it for people and kind of just make them want to um, pass out, whatever, is because we are, um, number one, we're becoming vulnerable. So even just going and sitting in, in the therapy room, even if you're not digging deep yet, you know that you can. And there's almost that feeling that your therapist can, you know, see past your masks and your defenses and she can or he can see into your soul. And so you feel exposed, you feel vulnerable, and that's a, it's an exhausting place to be. It's tiring because your defenses are kind of trying to um, cover that up and you know that they're not working. Another reason why is because when you are doing the work, you're doing deep emotional work and you're kind of going through your stuff, you're digging up, you're looking in, getting, is this mine? No, here, take that. Is this mine? Yes, this is mine. Okay, now I've got to work on this. If you're doing that kind of stuff in the therapy room, that is hard work. You might as well be out like running a marathon or digging a ditch or something like that, something exhausting, because it is hard work. So those are the reasons why you feel vulnerable and exposed or you are actually doing very difficult work. And so that is why our stuff is exposed, our stuff is um, there, ready to work on, and we get so exhausted. So that is why it's really important um, to take care of yourself. Your therapist probably has it in the contract that you signed, that disclosure document that says, you know, hey, this is my background, this is my education, this is my training, this is my um, theoretical orientation. In that document, there should have been a mention of your physical health. You know, like therapy is a very difficult process. While you're in therapy, please, you know, go get a, a medical checkup. Uh, make sure that, you, you know, me medically speaking, you're okay. Uh, make sure you get plenty of clean water, food to eat, healthy food, nutritious food. Make sure you get plenty of rest. Take care of yourself in the physical aspect. So that should have been in there. If it's not, you know, hey, ask him about it. Like, should I be taking care of myself? Because this is exhausting. So anyways, uh, that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching.